Usually getting a tattoo could be fun, memorable, and exciting, but for some, it could be a horrific, heartbreaking, and fatal experience. Today, we're gonna to be going over three horrifying tattoo stories that you wish you never knew. And I gotta say, number one is absolutely insane. Before we get into the stories, if this is your first time here, my name's Mike, welcome to Evolve Inc. And on this channel, we talk all about tattoos. So if you enjoy tattoos, be sure to subscribe. Starting off with number three, we're gonna call this story, The Flea. The woman known as Missy710 lives in a town with only a few tattoo shops. She's been living there her whole life and she noticed that only one of the tattoo shops stood the test of time and has been there for 20 years. Missy just turned 18 and it was time for her to get her first tattoo. She wanted to get a portrait of her father that passed away only six months prior to her turning 18. Out of all the shops that are located in her hometown, she went with the one that's been there the longest, longer than she's been born. She did no research on the tattoo artist, but when she went to the shop to go get that tattoo, she was very pleased with his portfolio. She also states that the tattoo of the portrait of her father came out very well, but during the tattoo session while the tattoo was applied, she noticed that there was a small line that was kind of like not really supposed to be there and she was wondering what it was. Why would this skilled tattoo artist make such a big mistake? Well, that line that was misplaced was not actually a tattoo. It was a flea that jumped from the tattoo artist's hair onto her leg while he was applying the tattoo. As the tattoo was being applied, she looked closer into his scalp and noticed what it looked like thousands of other fleas crawling throughout his hair. Missy did not want to be rude, so she just sat there still waiting for the tattoo to be complete and watching the infestation in the tattoo artist's hair. Now she got amazing work, but could you imagine being in this situation? I, ugh. Number two, the swimmer. Tattoo artists will typically advise to their clients to not go in any kind of bodies of water with a brand new tattoo until that tattoo heals properly. In big bodies of water, all types of harmful bacteria lurk. In 2018, an unidentified 31 year old man took him and his family on a vacation to the Gulf of Mexico. One week prior before the vacation, he decided to get a brand new tattoo on his right calf of a crucifix and praying hands. One day on his vacation, him and his family went to to the Gulf of Mexico beach and decided to go for a swim enjoying the sun. A few days have passed and they went along enjoying their vacation. But then he started to develop cold sweats and dizziness anytime he decided to stand up. He soon then collapsed and his wife dialed 911 and they rushed him to the nearest hospital. Soon later he was diagnosed with fibrosis, a flesh eating disease that could spread quickly. Due to him swimming with that new tattoo days prior, that is how the flesh eating bacteria entered the body. According to reports, the man was giving antibiotics, but his condition continued to get worse. His organs began to fail and he was placed on life support. He then died weeks later due to septic shock. Number one is the outbreak. Infections from tattoos are nothing new. Hepatitis, staph infections, and even superbugs, known as MRSA, have been strongly tied to tattoos. Dirty needles and unsanitary environments are often the blame. In 2012, health officials have reported a huge spike in tattoo infections due to bacteria and in ink. This was the highest reported number of tattoo infections in a short amount of time. 19 people from Rochester, New York developed rashes over their tattoos, unbearable irritation, and a few cases where the tattoo skin fell off completely, leaving burn-like scars. Each of the tattoo shops that the 19 clients have went to were all under health code and known to be a very sanitary, friendly environment, using new needles and ink for every client. So what caused the influx of similar tattoo infections. New York health officials concluded that it was from bacteria living in the ink or the water used to dilute the ink. Officials later added that there was 30 other similar cases in other states that year. The infection is from mycome bacterium. The story still remains a mystery in regards of how the bacteria got into the ink, but it was rumored that the company that manufactured the tattoo ink just had a bad batch. And that's pretty damn scary. If you guys want to see more tattoo stories, story videos just like this one, be sure to leave it in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for future tattoo related videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.